up in this new vlog. Sorry I didn't upload a video these past two weeks. I was still working on Sleeping Beauty and the Prince and didn't make crazy big progresses. And also we had Mother's Day here. We don't have Mother's Day at the same time you have in other parts of the world, things like that. So today I'm going to show you a bit what I've been uh, working on this past week, all the progress I made on Sleeping Beauty and the Prince. I decided that the Prince would be a hunter. He is a hunter in the fairy tale. But he would be a war deer because I love these animals and he would have a falcon on his shoulder, a sword and all the things hunters usually have because he is a hunter in the story. And he discovers the castle a bit by, by accident, it wasn't supposed to happen. So I was also interested while I was working on the, on the, on the prince and on the uh, prince hunter on this book. Uh, which was published by Le Musée de la Chasse in Paris, the Hunt Museum in Paris, which is the, one of the best museums in Paris, actually. If you plan to go in Paris this summer or one day, you should absolutely visit this one. It's my absolutely favorite museum. And it's a museum about animals, really, more than hunt and all that. You can really enjoy it, even if you don't like uh, hunting and hunt. Or I'm absolutely not um, a fan of hunting, but I love animals. So uh, I would recommend to go and to visit it. And they have published this, which is a book about portraits of um, people, children, ladies, gentlemen throughout centuries, uh, hunters, which, who are all hunters, portrayed with falcons, with all the attributes of hunting, with their dogs. It's a super, super interesting book. So I was uh, using it because I had to do a falcon and I wanted to be a bit inspired by all this beautiful painting and I recommend this book. I'm not sure if it's easy to find online on Amazon maybe because it's published by a museum it's a bit more difficult than other books. And this week I also visited my friend Sabine who is uh, an artist, a designer, a super interesting character. Maybe you will see her in an upcoming video. I will try to convince her. And uh, we were supposed to go in the garden center to fetch some flowers, things like that, for my balcony because I'm making big progress on my flowers and all my plants progress. But we had uh, seen her tortoise. She has a really, really nice tortoise in her garden who is seven, I think she's 67 years old. A grandmother tortoise. She's adorable and we give her a tomato. Um, this summer I will uh, take care of a bit of a garden while she's away in holidays. And I'm so excited because I will see her tortoise every week. <laughs> and it's so nice because it's such a nice lady. She's totally fascinating. So you will probably see more of her tortoise this summer in the videos.
books are the last books I bought in the magic bookstores. I finished few books I bought there the past month, so I was allowed to go back and I always find treasures here. I also have discovered a secret room in the magic bookstore, so I will have another video about it probably this summer because it's, it's really the never-ending story bookstore and you always find treasures. Every time, every time I go there I find treasures. And this time I found this one, a donkey shot I never read. I, I have to confess I never read it. Uh, it was 5 euros, which is really crazy because it's such a nice book. And I think it's the full versions, which you never know with these books, but there are a lot of illustrations. So I was so happy about my Don Quixote for 5 euro. I think you cannot ask for a better bargain than that, it's just perfect. I also found this one. The other thing I really like with this old bookstores, you always find books you would have never thought of reading <laughs> or never dreamed of reading. Um, this one is uh, letters. I love letters correspondences or that you have uh, seen that in the past videos with Madame de Sévigné or that I have to say I just enjoy them so much. Maybe I will start a collection of letters books and correspondences books. And here it's Mirabeau, it's letters um, to Julie from Mirabeau who was a um, character for the, of the French Revolution and I love this part of history. So. I have. I don't know a lot about this um, character, this uh, this man actually, who really lived in the second half of the 18th century. And I was interested. He wrote these letters when he was in prison, and it's probably to a lover. I'm not really sure. So it's going to be very interesting. I hope. Maybe some parts will be boring. I don't really know, but. I really I was happy with that because in the magic room I didn't see the, the secret room I didn't see before in the magic bookstore it's all about history so there were a lot of newspapers or newspaper history local geography and history too from here and national and international history too so that's why I found this one and the last one the last one was Georges Sand, which I like very much too. It's a French author from the 19th century. And it's Les Beaux Messieurs du Bois, de Bois Doré, which I had never heard of before. I totally confess I didn't know she wrote that. So it's something which I think take place in the 17th or 16th century in Spain, probably. So it's going to be interesting. I think they have some drawings too. So. I thought I'm, uh, it, it was matching really Don Quixote really well and I'm interesting and it's so fun to read real books because I read them, I don't only buy them, I read them. We are so used to um, pocket books and this uh, paperback and all that that when you have your real big heavy books in your bed or you know, on your couch it's just like you have a real real hard story in your hands so it's really really nice. I love the experience of reading big pages like that, big, big books, big format books. This is the prince from Sleeping Beauty. Um, he's a hunter, so it's the reason he has a falcon. 
uh, which is finished. There is a um, little bell here and it's going to have a few accessories. There is a sword which is not finished yet. It's going to be on its side. There is a clock too, a watch because I, I was thinking Sleeping Beauty was sleeping for a very long time so he has a watch to remember her. It's time to get up. <laughs> And I have few things, it's not totally finished there. He has things to be completed in his costume, on his costume over there. Some little finishes on his sleeves, also on, the, on this part of the costume, and on the, the sort of bloomer, quite a lot of little details which are not there yet. But this is how it looks like on the back. But yes, I, I want to have a few, few more beautiful details on his costume. Probably some tassels too, things like that. For Sleeping Beauty's bed, I have covered this part already. I haven't covered all the curtains yet because they have a lot to paint and they are taking a very long time so I didn't finish all that. I have started the lantern. I wanted to have a lantern at the center of the bed and there is a fox which is going to be on top of it and the reason there is a fox is because it's Sleeping Beauty in the wood, the real title of the story. So I wanted to have something which reminded the wood. So a fox is there and it's going to be over there. So it's not going to be too obvious at the beginning because there will be the curtains, it will be partly hidden but it's going to be possible to see him I think on the front and on the back and also we are going to see very well his head but it's of course he is not finished yet. I still have some sculpting details to do, of course the painting, the fur, all that but it's going to be at the top here. And for Sleeping Beauty's bed, I don't think I showed all that on the video. I showed that on my last blog post I did last week, but I don't think I showed how the bed looked like on every side. I'm quite happy with how it looks like. I think I still have this side to finish. This side is not done. And I have also done pretty much all the pillows. Her, the top of her dress is almost finished. I just have to finish now the the bottom and I still have a lot of paper to cover and I want probably to add one or two other prints and ribbons and things like that. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. So Sleeping Beauty and the Prince will arrive on Etsy next week. It should be between Tuesday and Thursday. I will exactly let you know on the blog, on my blog, merveillantpapier.com because I, I'm never really exactly sure where they will be ready. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos and to give a thumbs up too. It's always very, very supportive and helpful. Thank you very much for your kindness, your comments. You can ask me a question under the video. I always like to read them and I will see you very soon in the next video.